Hello and welcome. How to solve this exponential equation? Suppose we erase the terms on the left hand side to power 3 over 3 because 3 over 3 equals to 1. So we have not changed anything by erasing it to 3 over 3. So we have 3 raised to power n to power 3 over 3 plus 2 to power n the all of this raised to 3 over 3 equals to 35 now let us use this rule of indices that a raised to n the all of this raised to m equals to a raised to n m which means that we can take the fraction inside the brackets and leave the numerator outside so what we have is because 3 over 3 can also be written as 1 over 3 times 3 so we take this one inside we leave 3 outside the brackets as an exponent so we have 3 raised to n over 3 plus 2 raised to n over 3 the all of this raised to 3 the all of this raised to power 3 I have not changed anything I have just rewritten in a different form equals to that 5 now as you can see we can express the elements inside the brackets in terms of other variables so let 3 raised to n over 3 equals to x and 2 raised to n over 3 be equal to y so that y let us begin with x so that x to power 3 plus y to power 3 equals to 35. Now we have formed the sum of two cubes. And you know from the formula that a cubed plus p cubed is factorized as a plus p into a squared plus a p plus p squared. Now let us use this rule on our equation the equation now becomes x plus y into x squared minus xy plus y squared equals to 35 now you should notice that x and y are positive integers since we have 35 here and we have the sum of x cubed and y cubed it follows that x and y are positive integers therefore what we have here the factors that the two factors that will give us that five must be positive which means we we need we need 1 times 35 or 35 times 1 or we need 5 times 7 or 7 times 5 we are dealing with positive integers and that because of because of the square nature of f because of x squared and y squared on the second second factor, it follows that x plus y is less than x squared minus xy plus y squared. Therefore, the first factor must be smaller 
than the second factor. Therefore, this one is this one is eliminated because we need the first factor to be smaller. This one is eliminated and this one is eliminated. So now let us compare. Let us consider this one and this one. Now we have two cases. Now this is the first case. This is the second case. Now it follows that now case one it follows that x plus y into x squared minus x y plus y squared equals to one times thirty five which means that x plus y equals to one and x squared minus xy plus y squared equals to 35. This one implies that this equation here, if we square both sides, we have x plus y squared equals to 1, which gives us x squared minus plus 2x, 2xy plus y squared equals to 1. Now we have this, this equation and we have another one of this of this nature. Now let us solve them simultaneously. So we have these two equations. Let me bring this one here so that it can be solved together. So what we have here is x squared plus 2xy plus y squared equals to 1. Now let us subtract to a minute x squared and y squared if you observe kinetic so this one becomes minus 3xy equals to minus equals to positive 30 34 since x and y x and y are positive integers and this one gives us a negative answer because xy becomes minus 34 over negative over 3 it implies that either x or y are negative then we rule this one out therefore this one is also root is also cancelled it's not part of the solution case one is ruled out now let us move on to second case now case two Now, case 2. In case 2, we have that x plus y into x squared minus xy plus y squared equals to 5 times 7. This is case 2. Which means that x plus y equals to 5 or x squared minus xy plus y squared equals to 7. Now let us solve these two equations. First of all, let us square both sides of, of this equation here. So it becomes x plus y squared equals to 5 squared, which gives us x squared plus 2xy plus y squared equals to 25. Now let us solve the second equation and this one. Let us solve these two equations now. So it means that x squared minus xy plus y squared equals to equals to 7 and that x squared plus 2xy plus y squared equals to 25. Now let us 
subtract it will mean x squared and y squared so this one drops this one also drops so we remain with minus 3xy equals to minus 18 which implies that xy equals to negative 18 over negative 3 which gives us 6 so we have formed two equations one in which x plus y as a linear equation equals to 5 and that xy equals to 6 now solve these two equations now you can see it's a system of equations simultaneously now this one it implies that y equals to 5 minus x now put this value in this equation put this value in this equation so that the equation now becomes x into 5 minus x equals to 6 so we have 5x minus x squared equals to 6 the equation that reduces to x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals to 0 now by using a factoring method we have that the product equals to 6 and the sum equals to negative 5 so the vectors are negative 3 and negative 2 which give us the product as 6 and the sum as negative 5 so by solving this equation we have x squared minus 3x minus 2x plus 6 equals to 0 now let us factorize by grouping it becomes apparent that x into x minus 3 minus 2 into x minus 3 equals to 0 which means that x minus 2 into x minus 3 equals to 0 it follows that x equals to 2 or 3 similarly when x equals to 2 y equals to 3 or 2 so either way we have found the value of x and y so the value of x and y x comma y equals to 2 comma 3 or 3 comma 2 now but we stated that but we stated that we stated that y equals to x equals to 3 raised to power n over 3 and y equals to 2 raised to power n over 3 so but we know that 3 raised to n over 3 equals to x and 2 raised to power n over 3 equals to y so let us use the values of x and y we have found out up there to sort of so that If we consider this one, so this one is because n is an integer, this one this one gives us the appropriate solution. So this was, this one must be ignored because if we put two here, it won't give us integers. Therefore, let us consider this. So the only pair of x and y that can give us the correct the solution are the only pair of x comma y equals to three comma two. This one can give us the solution. Therefore, if that is the case, then it follows that it follows that three raised to n over 3 equals to 3 or 2 raised to n over 3 equals to 2 so we raise this one to power 1 and this one to power 1 because we have not given anything 
since the bases are the same, we get the powers. Therefore, it implies that n over 3 equals to 1 or n over 3 equals to 1. Either way, we get the same solution, which implies that in both cases, n equals to 3 and this one, n equals to 3. Now, we have found that the value of n equals to 3. So let us put it in our original equation to see whether it satisfies. So the original equation was that 3 raised to the power n plus 2 raised to the power n equals to 35. Now if we put 3 here, so we have 3 raised to the power 3 plus 2 raised to the power 3 equals to 35. It implies that 3 times 3 times 6 is 27 plus 8 equals to 35. Therefore 35 equals to 35 which means that our n equals to 3 is the correct value of this equation therefore thank you for watching subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell to get new updates when i upload new videos don't forget to smash the like button share and comment below to make this video reach many people